everybody. Welcome to Dive Deep. I'm Shelby Cornett, and I'm the ministry assistant at Cambridge City Christian Church. And this is Danny. It is me. It tis is I. What he said. Yeah. So, Shelby, you're coming yeah. off sickness, aren't you? Yeah. Well. Your kids. And my kids yeah. and your husband. husband. It's been yeah. rough. Yep. But she's back, and she's ready. I'm back. She's back and ready to dive deep. I'm ready to dive deep. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> well, there you go. There's your new intro. You just found it. We've been I'm talking. not doing that every week. <laughs> no way. All right. We'll figure something out eventually. <laughs> okay. So this week we started a new series. Yeah. Keep the Change. Keep the Change, a financial series. Yeah. Which are always and a little dicey in the church because yeah. anytime you start talking about money in church. It's almost like taboo. Like you don't yeah, want to talk almost. about money. Yeah, I, I mean, with, with sermon series, I don't usually get too nervous with sermons. Mm -hmm. And I've been doing this for a while. I mean, there's still that little bit that's er there every right. week. But, but when I do financial series, the it definitely ratchets up. Like yeah. I feel more nervous. Um, I feel like people are like. I shouldn't because it's biblical. Giving you looks. No, it's just I know how I know how people see it with the church. I mean, not, not our church specifically, right. I think, but but just generally people have a thing about churches and money because there has been very few. And, and I want to state this very few and far between mm -hmm. cases. Very seldomly does this happen, but because it's usually played up in the media or whatnot, when churches, right. you know, steal money or you have preachers who make millions of dollars and you know those kinds of things pop up it really gives a bad puts a bad taste in people's mm -hmm. mouth when it comes to giving to the church does that mean you're not a millionaire no i'm sorry well now we know i leave my bentley and lamborghini at home so you don't <laughs> see it <laughs> no i don't i promise i don't um but uh but no i mean it's um it, it, and that's part of it and then the other part of it is from a personal perspective People tend to be very protective about their money. Yeah. That's why people complain a lot about taxes and high prices on things. I mean, we've got gas prices through the roof right now. And mm -hmm. everybody, why is everybody so angry? It's because they're protective of their money. And so then when you talk about giving, it can Which be is why we need to do talks like this. We do. Yeah. Because... Um, Giving is is a part of your relationship with Christ mm -hmm. um, because it's a way for us to, to recognize, first of all, that it's not ours. Mm -hmm. And then secondly, to say, OK, Jesus, since you are the Lord of my life. The money that I'm giving is a way of me saying that money isn't my Lord. You see what I mean? Yeah. By by surrendering that to Jesus. You're saying, hey, Jesus, this belongs to you anyways, mm -hmm. and I recognize that in my life, and I want to use this to grow your kingdom. Yeah. Um, it's important for us to do it. It, it really is a spiritual um, discipline that we should have in our lives. Mm -hmm. So this sermon made me think completely, like a different, it made me see a different side of giving, I guess. Because mm -hmm. when I thought of giving before, I thought of, okay, we're paying the church bills, we're... Mm -hmm paying pastors that kind of it's stuff. It's like your entrance fee. Yes. <laughs> kind well kind of that's kind of yeah, what I, mean, I, I mean, the way I thought yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. But then when I was listening to you Sunday it was like okay, I put giving can bring others to Christ. And I never thought of it that way. Like me giving to the church can create an opportunity for someone else. Mhm. Mm Mm -hmm. To come to Christ. Yeah, yeah. It's a way to to keep. I mean, obviously, the money that comes in is to support an op the right. operation of the church. Mm -hmm. um, if I'm not going to have another job, if my sole job is to focus on the word and help lead our church, mm -hmm. same with Travis and even you, you mm -hmm. know, with your job. If if that's what we're called, well, we've still got to pay the bills. It isn't like you know the power right. company and. And uh, the water people say, "Oh, you're you're on the pastoral staff at the church. You don't have to pay." Yeah, your bill. it's you on know? us. Yeah, so so we still have those things that we still have to pay for in our lives, um, but uh, but really, that's not why you give the money. You you right. give because you have been blessed, and Jesus has asked you to surrender to His lordship mm -hmm. and be obedient to Him. And by giving, yes, you are blessing God by doing it. Saying, "God, I'm blessing you. You are." Mm -hmm. you've blessed me now I return that blessing 
Um, and then it's also to help others know about Christ. You know, it's a, mm -hmm. like a byproduct of it. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It made me think, too. I'm one of those people that says, where did my money go? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I need to budget. Yeah. We talked about that. Like uh, the sermon title was how to take hold of your money. Mm -hmm. And one of the things we talked about was budgeting. It's hard to budget. I'm not good at it. Yeah. 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 I'll admit it. What do you think makes it hard? What do you think makes it hard to budget for you? Like, I feel like I'm being restricted. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't know if th th that makes sense. Sure. Yeah, I get it. Mm -hmm. I like to spend money. <laughs> well, most people do. I mean, it makes me feel good. Yeah. Which is b a bad thing. Well, one thing, I, I'm, I'm going to talk about it just briefly this coming Sunday, but everybody, there are different philosophies when it comes to money. Like, mm -hmm. people have different ones. I usually do this in my premarital counseling because a, a big part of marriage and a lot of the biggest thing that people fight over in marriage is money um th it's because there's different philosophies mm -hmm. like some people are sp are spenders mm -hmm. and then you have some that are savers mm -hmm. well if you have a spender and a saver that's in a marriage relationship you want to talk about right friction you know one's like why can't you save anything the other one's like because i want to spend you know and right and it, it gets really hard and and then when you're talking about budgeting if you're a spender it can mm -hmm. be it can be hard. It's hard. So what you have to learn to do is you have to say, okay, this is these are the things that I'm budgeting. Th mm -hmm. You know, prior make those priorities, including in that with with that church giving and whatever. And then this is how much that's left. This is what I get to spend on what I. You have mm -hmm. to have that discipline to say, this yeah. is, I can only spend this, not you know this. Yeah. But that's not easy. It's not. No, it's not. And I'm one of those people, and we've talked about it before, and it's so bad. I'm working on it, but mm -hmm. I'm not there yet. Sure. A lot Re of people are in your Retail place. therapy. Retail therapy, yeah. Yeah. Something, it, so it sounds funny, like, haha. Something that makes you feel good when you go buy yes. things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like yeah. going shopping. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of people are in that place. Mm -hmm. But then what else that happens with retail therapy is you have the hangover from it. Yeah. When... You see it pop up on your checking account, and you don't have much left, or mm -hmm. you get the credit card bill, or so. So you have re uh, that's what I've told people. I'm like, yeah, there's retail therapy, but then there's re the hangover from it too. It's like any drug, right? Yeah. You, you take a drug, you're gonna have the hangover from it. Um, <laughs> yep. So. That, so then that's like you're depressed again. So yeah. Then like <laughs> so then the therapy didn't really work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And it that's stinks, really the way the drug is, too, right? Like, if you're an alcoholic, let's say, mm -hmm. you drink and you get drunk, and it takes all your problems away for a little while, and then you have the hangover and you feel like crud, and mm -hmm. then when the hangover's over, all your problems are back again. It, it didn't, they didn't go yep. anywhere because you went and drank. Same thing so with shopping. So I'm a shopaholic. Shopaholic. Mm. This, is this like a counsel? This is turning into a counseling <laughs> I know. session here. Yeah. This is my word vomit. Word vomit. Yeah. Oh wow. You've been dealing with a lot of vomit this week, so it must be on your mind. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> so that's no, right. no joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that's all I had for yeah. notes. Yeah, we talked about um can can you help me so we talked about a budget. We also talked about avoiding debt. You know, not all debt is bad. There are sometimes you have to go into debt, like housing house. housing is important. You gotta have a car, get to work. But you should try to avoid it as much as you can. And that's mm -hmm. why the next one is about, or one of the things we talked about was saving. Because mm -hmm. over time, as you save, then you don't have to go into the debt like you used to. Yeah. So trying to wean yourself off of the debt. Mm -hmm. um, and then another one we talked about, which what, what did you think about it when I mentioned uh, high-quality relationships when it comes to spending? After you said that, I was like, that makes sense. Yeah, but most like, people don't think of that. Right. Like who because your friends are. My friends are about the same as yeah. far as yeah money and yeah and, and what happens a lot with friendships i've even gone through this myself you'll see a friend buy a certain thing mm -hmm. and you're like well i should have that too yeah. and i'm going to talk about that and some of the lies that, that our culture tells too. us um this week but and know, my best friend yeah. is my shopping partner so. yeah yeah so yeah it, it it is important to really think about how your friends even view money because it has a way mm -hmm. of influencing you too um, right um and then finally we talked about generosity and we kicked off mm -hmm. our campaign unleash the future this mm -hmm. week um we're trying to pay down um 
the debt that our church owes, talking about avoiding yep. debt. We're trying to get out of that. Uh, thankfully, you know, we had a $900,000 original for our building that we built, and we've paid uh, about 550000 of that, which is pretty awesome in the last yeah. seven years. Um, but we're really wanting to whittle that down even more. We're hoping within the maybe the next five years to be out of debt. So, um, so yeah, so it's that would be awesome. It, it would be awesome. So we're kind of partnering this series with the idea of generosity mm -hmm. and helping us with that debt. So yep. I'll talk a little bit more about it this week. And I'd encourage you if you haven't watched the sermon, uh, there's a clip in there about some of the things that we're doing. Yeah. Um, with the ministry center. So yeah, that's pretty much the gist of what we talked about yeah. this week. What's next week? So yeah, this coming week we're talking about four lies that culture tells right. us about money. Um, and there's some doozies, let me tell you. Yeah. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking this sermon's going to be very helpful mm -hmm. for, for many of us. I know even for me, you know, looking at some of the ways that I spend money and stuff, it, mm -hmm. it made me think a little bit about why am I spending my money on these things when maybe I shouldn't be. So, mm -hmm. so hopefully this week will be a, a challenge, too. Yeah, so cool. Yeah. yeah. All right. So next week we'll talk about that. Yep. And then the week after, there's two more. Yeah, we have two more weeks. Yeah. Two okay. more weeks. And then um, then we get ready for Easter. Yeah. yeah. Between two trees. Between two trees. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we'll see you next week while we continue the series, Keep the Change. Mm -hmm.